Welcome learners. In this video, we shall be discussing about the distinctive features of the different tribes of the region. Tribes of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh 3. We will begin with the Gonds. The Gonds are the biggest group of the STs in number and the most populous tribe in Chhattisgarh. They are also unique due to the fact that for some centuries they had a kingdom which they ran successfully after which a part of the country for a long time was known as Gondwana. They made a valiant attempt to preserve their political power and the Hindu faith against the onslaught of the Muslims. The districts of their chief concentration during the 19th century were Betul, Chindwara, Sinoy, Mandla, Chhattisgarh, Chanda and Bastar. Occupations of Gons. They are distinguished by their great liking for woodcraft and for sacrifices and eating bullocks. It is reported by experts that the Gons adopted newer and improved methods of paddy sowing, which was a complete departure from their old bivar cultivation. They had also adopted cotton cultivation and taken to rearing cattle. Small shopkeeping was another line which the Gons had adopted for gainful activity. Language and culture of Gons. The Gondi language is a Dravidian language. The Chhattisgarhi Gons had even adopted the language, mode of dress and even culinary practices of their neighbors. In certain parts where the Gons lived in common villages with Hindu castes, they not only associated themselves more with these castes but strive to differentiate themselves from such scheduled and allied castes as the Kamars and the Bumjiyas. The Rajgons have adopted the Hindu ceremony of marriage. The most distinctive feature of a Gond wedding is that the procession usually starts from the bride's house and the ceremony is performed at that of the bridegrooms. When a Gond wishes to marry his children, he first looks to his sister's children, whom he considers entitled to demand for his own. Such a marriage is called bringing back the milk. It is also known as Dud Lotana. The Gons were Bali in the upper or middle part of the ears and Lurki in the lobes, touring called Chutka is common. We will talk about the Beels. The Beels are the most populous tribe in MP. They are distinguished from most other STs due to their long connection with the Rajputs. They are described as courageous huntsmen, skillful in snaring games and clever fishermen. Occupation of Beals? Their original occupation was agriculture. The Beals of this region had a fixed abode with majority of them being agricultural labourers. Some had also taken up the work of village watchmen. Language and culture of Beals. The Beals are believed to have had a Mundri language. They speak the dialect known as Beal, which is Malvi or Nimadi, a dialectical specimen of the language of the locality in which they are found. They observe untouchability and the principal Hindu festivals. Marriage by elopement is still prevalent in the Beals of the Vindhyas, but it is confirmed only after the bride price is ceremonially paid off. Among the enlightened section, marriage is arranged either by willing couples or by their elders. Coals. The Coals of Jabalpur Reva region after whom the Munda speaking tribes, the Hos and the Santals were formerly called the Kolarians, provide a specimen of a group which in days gone by had a culture similar to the culture of Hos and Santals who inhabit very restricted and confined areas. The coals made excellent workers and formed the bulk of cheap labor in many industrial centers. They are more adaptable to changes and more accommodating and better inclined towards improving their living conditions. Orans. They reached central India from the south. They are found in Raigarh and Suguja districts. They are less tenacious and more submissive, unlike the Mundas who are rebellious. Occupation of Orans? 
their main occupation is agriculture plow culture was introduced by them in the central province they grow cotton and their women hand spin it orans are also good in carpentry language and culture of orans orans speak a dravidian language and are basically animists in their beliefs like all the other tribes the supreme being who is responsible for bringing creation into existence is called dharmis in oran dharmis is the one who is worshiped and to whom sacrifice is offered even by the layman prayers and sacrifice of eggs or white fowl are, are offered to dharmis so that he might save the individual and family from evil the orans have an ancestral pit kundi in which the bones and remains of the dead are gathered and ground at the annual harbari or great marriage as they believe that the spirits of the ancestors will help the living members of the family in difficult moments the murias marias and abuj murias the murias of north bastar are associated with institution of gotul the bison horn marias or the singh marias are settled to the south of the indravati they have very little communication with the muriyas of the north the raja muriyas or the jagdalpur muriyas consider themselves superior to the other tribes abuj muriyas the abuj muriyas have a strong wild appeal in their look as compared to the muriyas of the plains they occupy the wild and more primitive interior of bastar in the west of narayanpur tehsil their occupation agriculture remains the predominant occupation of the abo tribes where plowing is done either by bulls and plows are by digging with hoes and cow dung is used as manure the marias of mp as an exceptional case has invented certain indigenous methods of irrigation by constructing bunds on mountain streams to irrigate their fields and terraces their culture the gotul is a unique institution for the unmarried boys and girls of the muria tribe a brief description of the gotul is given below since it is a unique feature of this particular tribe the gotul a village dormitory is a large hut or a group of huts with a compound around where the muria youngsters assemble after sunset this institution which is traditionally sanctioned by the tribal customs serves as a center of social and emotional activities instills group feeling and discipline among the muria boys and girls of bastar helps them to rise above jealousy and possessiveness serves as an preventive measure of crime provides the right place for acknowledging feelings of love and fostering feelings of friendliness unity and sympathy the boy member of the gotul is known as chelik and the girl member as motiari the relation between chelik and motiari are governed by the type of gotul to which they belong in the older classical type of gotul boys and girls paired off in a more or less permanent relationship which lasts till marriage in the modern form of gotul such exclusive associations are forbidden and partners must constantly be changed the male members begin to arrive any time after sunset at the gotul with their belongings such as sleeping mats tobacco pouches and such other things the boys gather around a fire or scatter around the compound or puff their chungis the boys gather around a fire or scatter about the compound or puff their chungis the country cigarettes under the thatched roofs of the open huts as the girls start coming an atmosphere of music and dance livens up followed by a dance song called rela after an hour or two storytelling around the fire starts during which the girls and boys join together freely at fairly late night belosa the leader of the girls and sirdar the leader of the boys decide how the couple shall be paired based on a romance mixed with duty and charm ornaments clothing and eating habits 
the women of the bison horn Maria tribe wear brass fillets on their heads as crowns when they go for dancing. Men wear headgears decorated with plumes of feathers, horns and chains of cowries as a dancing outfit. Men also wear bracelets in their wrists and mundri in their fingers. The beadwork done by the Muriyas is treated as a work of art. A Muriya girl who cares for her brass rings with bells attached and wears all kinds of ornaments with her colored skirt and wimple is known as a Sigari Mugari Muriya girl. The Abuj Mariyas eat red ants and rats with great pleasure. Women are generally bare bosom and men wear just a loin cloth. Only during festivals, they add some more items to their dress. Boys put on all kinds of finery. They wear red or white pagas with feathers tucked in their folds. Marriage rituals? As regards marriage in the Abuj Marias, the boy's parents visit the parents of the girl and present a pot of mahua liquor. If the pot is accepted, the boy and girl are declared engaged. Among the Muriyas, the Kittiwari form of marriage, which is an extension of cross-cousin marriage, is common, where the sister's children are given first preference. Remarriage is done through a ceremony called Pani Bihau. The Bison Horn Muriyas has many strange customs of observing death. If a child below the age of five dies, he is buried in an erect position. A corpse is laid down with his head to the east. Women put a pinch of tobacco in his mouth and weep bitterly, very often falling upon his bamboo beer. The master of the funeral ceremony is conventionally the Gyata, but it is the son of the deceased sister who has to do many more things. He takes his stick and measures straight upwards from the corpse chest to the roof, poking the stick through the thatch. Then he climbs up to the roof and makes a hole which is intended symbolically to allow the message of death to spread throughout the world. He puts his dole drum above the hole, waves his stick thrice round his head and then beats his drum. Now let us focus on Durvas. Durvas are the third largest Adivasi group in Bastar following the Mariyas and the Muriyas. The tribe is mainly concentrated in Dantewada and Konta. They bordered on most tehsil of MP in the south. In addition to the usual customs commonly followed by the tribes of this region as mentioned above, the Durvas perform a ceremony after 10 days of a man's death known as Kilava, in which a leaf earring is given by any earning member of the family or an outsider of the widow. If it is given by the younger brother of the deceased, the woman has to go with him as his wife. Another significant tribe called Baigas? The Baigas are a class of priests among the Gons. They are the people who know all about evil spirits and can avoid them by performing magical rites. In Mandla district, there is a small tract called Baiga Chak known for its Baiga settlement. The Baigas are considered by many experts as the original inhabitants of the central province. Baigas economy mainly depends on agricultural pursuits and collection of minor forest produce. The other employment opportunities are unskilled labor and work in forest. They also love to work in the Baris and grow maize, mustard, vegetables, roots and bulbs. Maize, Kodo, Kutki and Ramtila are the main crops grown by the Baigas. Maize and millets form the major foodstuffs consumed by the Baigas. These are consumed in the form of page, often supplemented by vegetables. The Pradhans and the Korkains. The Pradhans are the musicians of the Gons and the Baigas. If a Baiga is unavailable to a Gond, a Pradhan is called for performing the rites. The Korkins are confined to a small portion in the Narmada valley. Some of them have taken to work in the coal mines around Chindwara. 
Among the court canes, marriage takes place in the following typical manner. The father of the girl brings home a capable boy called Lamsena. If the Lamsena likes the girl, he has to serve as a household servant for 6 to 12 months and he has to prove his manhood. If the girl does not become pregnant within a year, the Lamsena is made to flee and new one is caught. This is the tradition among the Korkins. When the girl gets into the house of her fiancé, if the boy agrees to marry, the marriage is settled. Otherwise, the boy has to leave his house and the village and the whole of his property becomes that of the girl. A similar tradition is that the father of the girl sends the daughter away to search for a life companion. Among some Korkins, the father of the girl selects a boy himself. After getting a suitable boy, the terms of payment are settled and the father of the boy takes away the bride. Other significant tribes. The Savaras occupy Shopur, Morina district, Isagar, Narwal, Gwalior district and Bilsa. This group also combines Saharia and Saur. Among others are the Bariyas of Patalkot and the adjoining areas in Chindwara and Binjwars of Bilaspur. From etymological point of view, Saharia mean companion of tiger. Sa companion, Haria tiger. Their total population is over 2 lakhs and is one of the poorest primitive tribe of Madhya Pradesh. Most of the Sahara families are landless and the area is geographically often prone for drought, hence drinking water is one of the major problem in the area. Their economy lies mainly on minor forests produce. Because of unemployment, the young people migrate to nearby district or town in search of employment, especially during summer. The economy of Bariyas depend on Baris attached to their hutments. Maize, Jawar, Kodo and Kutki are the commonest crops grown in their Bari. Minor forest products like Mahua, Amla, Harra, etc. are also a source of income. Preparation of Diyabaharis and selling them in the local market is an important source of cash income. Though the valley is said to be very rich in medicinal plants, they are yet to be exploited as a source of income by the tribe. Maize is the staple